So now we're going to talk a little bit about rigid body physics. In physics simulation, rigid bodies enable physics-based behavior such as movement, gravity, and collision. In Unity, you can configure rigid bodies with the rigid body class or the corresponding rigid body component. And if we go to one of these examples, let me see, I think it was this one. In the previous example, we created this cube. Let me see if we can play it around. Uh, okay, so we can move it. And yeah. We can kind of drive around, we can move it forwards and backwards, left, we can move it to the right. So we can we can do all the stuff. Let's unclick the play. And if we go into the car route, we can see here rigid body. And as you can see, we have the mass 1,500 kilograms. We have the drag of zero, angular drag of 0 0.05. We have the Automatic center of mass is check. Automatic tensor is check. Use gravity check. And let me see. Interpolate now. But we have now interpolate, extrapolate that we are gonna see in a, in a little bit. We also have collision detection, discrete. We also have continuous, continuous dynamic, continuous speculative. Then we have uh, constraints, and you can freeze position the x coordinate the y coordinates or the c coordinates so then we have the layer overrides and right now include layers right now we have nothing but we can also have everything default transparent effects ignore recast uh, water and ui and exclude layers well pretty much you have the same thing and this is what we have for the rigid body as you can see in this particular example of the of the car rule that we saw in the previous example and um, let me see yeah yeah this is the one so let's continue a little bit with the theory and um, here we have the introduction to rigid body physics overview of the concepts and fundamental behaviors of the rigid body class and component configure rigid body colliders how to configure colliders on a rigid body so that the physics system can accurately detect collisions apply constant force to a rigid body how and when to apply a constant linear or rotational force to a rigid body game object apply interpolation to a rigid body how to use interpolation to smoothen the movement of a rigid body if it appears jittery at runtime rigid body component reference reference page for the rigid body component and finally constant force component reference page for the constant force component so let's check out the, the fundamentals so introduction to rigid body physics in real world physics a rigid body is any physical body that does not deform or change shape under physics forces the distance between any two given points of a rigid body remains constant in time regardless of external forces exerted on it to simulate physics-based behavior such as movement, gravity, collision, and joints, you need to configure items in your scene as rigid bodies. To configure game objects as rigid bodies in Unity's physics, X, a physics system, you can assign them the rigid body component. And pretty much they're talking about this one. Oops. Let's close it. Um, if I just I don't know, click in the cube or wheel or here in the cube, for example, I can just pretty much add a component. And from here, you just have to type in rigid. Let me see. Re okay, rigid, but you just grab this one, the first one. For example, uh, the cube doesn't have a rigid body, obviously, but the car root that is the pairing of the cube, the cube is the child of the car root. The car root has a rigid body and here as oh, we already saw all these properties the mass drag angular drag so we also we see that okay so um, let me see you can assign them to rigid body component the rigid body component is represented in the api by the rigid body class so rigid body game object with physics based movement in unity a rigid body component provides a physics based way to control the movement and position of a game object instead of the transform properties you can simulate it you can use simulated physics forces and torque to move the game object and let the physics engine calculate the results in most cases 
if a game object has a rigid body you should use the rigid body properties to move the game object instead of the transform properties the rigid body properties apply forces and torque from the physics system which change the game objects transform if you let if you then change the transform directly unity cannot correctly calculate the physics simulation and you might see unwanted behavior this is particular true of rigid bodies with joints and we're going to see joints later on unity handles physics based movement globally not locally when a game object with a rigid body moves via the physics based movement it moves independently of any parent or child game object a child game object that has rigid body still uses its parents its parent game object to define its local position for initialization but unity calculate its physical based movement in global space so again in this particular example let me move this one here as you can see we have the root i mean the car underscore root as the parent that has the rigid body and then we have cube yeah the cube that is pretty much the 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 child the child of the car root so here we have the car underscore root that has the rigid body property okay so then we have the rigid body game objects without physics based movement okay so let's just read a little bit here there are some cases where you might want the physics system to detect a game object but not to control it for example you might want colliders to detect a game object but you intend to control the game object's movement and position via the transform we have the rigid body optimization when a rigid body moves at a slower speed than a sleep threshold see the physics project unity sets the rigid body to a sleep which means that the physics system does not include any physics calculations when a sleeping rigid body receives a collision or force unity wakes up the rigid body and continues to include it in the physics calculations so let's move to the next okay so now we have the configure rigid body collider so colliders define the physical boundaries of a rigid body to allow collisions to occur you must add colliders to a game object alongside a rigid body if one rigid body collides with another the physics engine only calculates a collision if both game objects have a collider attached if one game object has a rigid body but not a collider it passes through other game objects and unity does not include it in the collision calculation and as you can see here we have the inspector and here we have the transform and we have this capsule collider here so now the relative mass of each rigid body in a collision determines how they react when they collide with each other okay so now we have convex and concave collider geometry okay let's read a little bit here the physics or the physics x physics system requires that any collider you place on a non-kinetic rigid body is convex or concave all primitive shapes in unit and unity are convex however unity considers a mesh collider concave by default let's move here real quick um, okay so apply constant force to a rigid body to apply a constant linear or rotational force to a game object's rigid body add the constant force component represented by the api class constant force to your game object see the constant force component reference for details on how to configure the properties on the component you also have the set maximum velocity limitations and configure the constant forward acceleration so to make a game object constantly accelerate forward for example to make it behave like a rocket do the following so at the at a constant at a constant force component to a game object to on a constant force component set the relative force z axis to a positive value three on a rigid body disable use gravity this ensures that there is no competing gravitational force acting upon the game object and finally on the rigid body component set the drag property so that the rigid body that does not exceed your preferred maximum velocity the higher the drag the lower the maximum velocity will be this might require some trial and error to get the effect you want okay so let's keep moving um, okay so here we have apply interpolation to a rigid body so interpolation provides a way to manage the appearance of a jitter and the movement of your rigid body game objects at runtime jittering can happen well jitter can happen when the rate of physics simulation updates determined by the fixed time step is slower than the application's frame rate it is most noticeable if you have a rigid body with physics based movement that the camera tracks at runtime 
then we have here interpolate use the use the pose of the rigid body from the previous two physics updates to calculate the applied pose of the rigid body in the current frame we also have extrapolate use the pose of the rigid body from the previous physics update and predict the pose of the rigid body in the next physics update to calculate and predict the pose on the current frame and let me see let's move this one and here we just have the rigid body component reference so we have pretty much as you can see we have the mass the drag the angular drag so we already saw all this stuff so the mass the drag the angular drag automatic center of mass automatic tensor inertia tensor inertia tensor rotation use gravity as kinematic interpolate none yeah interpolate we have also interpolate again extrapolate collision detection is create continuous continuous dynamic continuous speculative constraint and freeze position and freeze rotation as we already see all those properties and the rigid body and finally this final slide so we have the constant force component reference so we have some properties the force relative force the torque and the relative torque so pretty much the force defines the direction of the linear force the x y z vectors refer to the scenes global axis relative force define the direction of the linear force the x y z vectors refer to the rigid body's local axis torque define the global axis that the rigid body rotates around and finally the relative torque define the local axis that the rigid body rotates around so this is all the properties that we have for the for the rigid body physics